Hey guys, and this is Words of Scale. I had a lot of fun recording a chat GPT video for you the other day with a full-on tutorial, so you can check it out if you've missed it. And I also have a video on how you can earn with AI copywriting tools on Fiverr, and I showed you how I earned in excess of $6,000 in a few months. But of course, uh, the majority of AI tools are not fair of charge, they're quite pricey. So I thought I'd show you a way how to use ChatGPT to write long-form copy. So we'll be attempting to write a full-on article using ChatGPT for free. And first you need to have your keywords in mind. And I have mine, uh, ChatGPT politely to write an outline for a blog post about can dogs eat bread? Let's hit enter. And now we can see that ChatGPT is producing an intro. Then the the part of the article that would be H2, can dogs eat bread? Nutrition value of bread for dogs. The risks of feeding bread to dogs. And this is very like draft looking. And what we will do, we can try to expand on those paragraphs. So let's copy this text here just in case. And then I'll try to expand each of the paragraphs or the talking points. Expand, expand on the. And I have my trusty word counter ready. So we will be pasting the outputs over here to see how many words we've got. And this is the intro. And just for fun, I'll type in the title, can dogs eat bread. So let's paste this over. Now let's head over to the second paragraph. This one here. And we'll ask ChatGPT politely to expand on that as well. Okay. This is our first H2. And we are at 215 words, which is not too bad. Then we have the nutritional value of bread for dogs. And we'll repeat the command once again. Okay, not too bad so far. Let's rinse and repeat. So the fourth one was the risks of feeding bread to dogs. And ChatGPT is talking about all sorts of troubles that bread can bring to dogs' health. Okay. Now we are at almost 500 words, which is not too shabby. Mm -hmm. The fifth H2 was how to safely feed bread to dogs. So once again, and guys, again, this is free. So you can literally go to ChatGPT repeat what I'm doing and get a very high quality article in return. And now it's talking about the safety tips, only feed your dog plain whole wheat bread, monitor your dog closely for any potential allergic reactions, consult with your veterinarian before introducing any new foods, which makes sense. And I, as a dog owner, concur. Mm -hmm. Okay. Looks very promising, actually. 600 words, okay. Have some more left. And this is the conclusion. And I have an idea of how to expand this even further, but we'll deal with the conclusion first. Okay, there you have it. We barely pulled through. <laughs> Let's paste it over. 
our conclusion and we are at 750 words so i have this like one idea but since the demand is extremely high i'm not sure if it's gonna pay off or even eventuate but let's try it what are the frequently asked questions about can dogs eat bread okay so we've got some additional questions and from the look of it we've covered the majority of it other than uh, can bread be used as a treat for dogs so we'll ask ChatGPT to expand on that so the h2 another one that the system came up with was this one can bread be used as a treat for dogs and we'll just copy and paste the output and this action here bumped our word count to 900 words uh, let's check once again the structure so the title is as follows intro can toxic bread nutrition value risks how to safely feed can bread be used as a treat okay so i have another one since i'm pretty familiar with the topic are dogs allergic to bread and i'll paste this one into our structure and while it's doing its thing i actually thought of another one which is what to do if my dog ate bread okay here we go and i'll ti tidy it up i mean the text after we are finished and i will write correctly today okay we have our intro we'll delete the intro part uh, the first h2 is can dogs eat bread the second h2 is nutritional value and risks of feeding bread to dogs is another one how to safely feed can okay mm -hmm. here's our conclusion and we have the last one which may or may not occur since this disclaimer here is still present and maybe if i turn it off <laughs> it's gonna work but now we are still around 1000 we're over 1000 words but i just wanted everything to be perfect so i'm waiting for this one here and it's starting to write finally if your dog has eaten bread and you're unsure whether it is safe for them to do mm -hmm. okay and there you have it 1100 almost 1200 words that we have produced for free in a matter of 10 minutes i guess maybe more but still this is work in progress and we can run this through grammarly through plagiarism checker and yeah and guys sorry i was about to finish the video but i couldn't help myself so i'm running this output through grammarly and we get a score of 97 which is extremely high readability let's check for plagiarism plagiarism is around six percent which is good and yeah guys so there you have it a 1200 word article in a matter of 10 minutes with the very little plagiarism with the extremely high readability and you can do this for free day in and day out and you can start earning money as a copywriter like from day one without any investment whatsoever hopefully this video was helpful give me a thumbs up subscribe and i'll see you next time